My mother was an extremely frightened person. She feared everything, including thunder and lightning. During storms, she would hide us all in a cupboard under the stairs of the upstairs flat until it was over. Consequently, I was never sure of the difference between a storm and an air raid. My father, John Hume, was a compassionate and politically active person. He told me repeatedly that I owed my educational opportunities to Lord Trevelyan, who had long struggled in Parliament for free secondary education. You were born in Britain, my father used to say, and you have had good educational opportunities. Remember that you did not choose your destiny. You might just as easily have been born to suffering in Africa. God was very real to me in those early days. We went to St. Mark's Church Sunday School on Biker Hill, where we were taught that God is always beside us. Before doing anything, we were told, we must listen for the voice of God and hear what he had to say about it being right or wrong. It was probably this teaching that made me truthful, because I was conscious that God was near and listening. Or was it fear of my mother 